now let's finally turn to the properties of terms. Take a few seconds please and look at the examples on this slide. I'd like you to think about whether mm, all of them are terms. Do you think they have anything in common? Now, some of these expressions clearly appear specialized, but what about words such as minor or agent? Um, clearly, and as we have learned from the theoretical part of this lesson, we need more information than this. For minor, for example, we might look for concordances from a corpus. Here we have a selection of sentences from the B and C corpus and the search was limited to minor as a noun. If you take a minute to examine these example sentences, there are clearly several quite different concepts hiding behind uh, the word minor. Um, for example, here probably it is a person under age, whereas here it probably refers to something musical, right? Um, so we have certain sentences which appear more specialized and pertain to the legal domain and others which pertain to the musical domain. So if we go back now to our candidate expressions, the first thing we need to know is the domain or the, the discipline these expressions were taken from. With this information, we could look for definitions of these terms and their specialized meanings within the, spe uh, within the specified domain. And this uh, is actually the, uh, the next activity.